Mr. Shaw, before the district attorney's men came here and arrested you, had you any idea that anything like this was planned, that Mr. Garrison was after you or anything like that? None whatsoever. No idea. What are your general feelings about the case now? Well, you understand I am constrained by court order not to discuss the case as such. I can say to you that, I, as I have said before, I am completely innocent. I have no knowledge of any conspiracy whatsoever to kill President Kennedy or anyone else. What are your personal feelings about President Kennedy? What were they when he was alive? I admired him very much. I felt that he had brought a new vigor, a new approach to the presidency, which struck me as being one that would produce very fine and fruitful results in the years ahead. I think his death was a tragedy uh, in the sense that the, what would have come from his efforts was cut off. Mr. Garrison has talked a lot about right-wingers in this case. What are your personal political views? Uh, well, I think I could describe myself best probably as a Wilsonian FDR liberal. I believe very thoroughly in the progressive ideas that these two presidents uh, put forth. And I think that Mr. Kennedy actually was a kind of... Uh, uh, lineal descendant uh, in his approach to the problems of our country. You have never yourself had any CIA connection? None whatsoever. Any association with the organization no, at all? None. Have you read the Warren Commission report? Uh, yes, I have read the Warren Commission report. I mean, had you read it before this case started? Only in summary. I had not read it in detail. Since then, I suppose you've been into it in some detail. You may be sure that I have. And uh, what's your opinion of its findings, Mr. Shaw? I think that the Warren, uh, Com uh, Warren Commission report comes as close as anything we will ever know as to describing what actually happened on that tragic day on November 22nd in Dallas. It seems to me that here you're faced with an either-or situation. You must either believe that the Warren Commission is substantially correct and that a lone assassin got a lucky shot at the president. Or you must conceive of a conspiracy so vast as to boggle the imagination. If indeed there were a conspiracy, it could not have been a small one. It would have had to involve the Dallas police force, the doctors at Parkland Hospital, the doctors at Bethesda Hospital, the FBI, the Secret Service, the members of the, some members of the Department of Justice, the Attorney General and his chief aides, and possibly even the White House. Now, I cannot accept the fact that such a conspiracy did exist, first of all, because I think it would have been almost impossible to arrange a conspiracy with this literally thousands of characters. And had it been, had, had it been done, in the four years intervening, there certainly would have been someone who would have come forward to tell the truth, a deathbed confession, what you will, over a period of four years. Did you yourself ever know uh, Oswald or David Ferry? Uh, never knew, never knew either one of them, no. You never even saw them or no. came into contact no. with them in no, any indeed. way? How has this, uh, this whole thing been going on now for, what, nearly six months, hasn't it? This is the seventh month, I believe. How is this affecting you personally? I mean, uh, all this publicity and uh, being named as a man uh, being indicted for this uh, alleged conspiracy. Well, it certainly is not uh, the pleasantest thing in the world to understate the case, to find yourself charged with the most heinous crime probably of our times. On the other hand, I uh, have gone ahead with my life. There's not much else you can do, is there? And I am innocent. I have very able counsel. And I have absolute faith in the American judici uh, judicial system, which will prove me innocent. It's a matter of some concern that my constitutional rights have, I think, been seriously violated. There are, of course, remedies for that which can be taken in due time. Meanwhile, however, this matter, this case, is a matter of great concern because of these violations. It's a matter that should concern every citizen of the United States. It has been well said by a distinguished American that all men's rights are diminished when any man's rights are threatened. And I think that expresses the case very well. Who said that? President John F. Kennedy said that.